So I'm Andy Rubin. I'm CEO of a company called Pentland Brands PLC, which is the brand management division of a UK family-owned business. And I'm the third generation of the family in the business. The future is, is it's looking better than it was. Uh, like everybody, we are very dependent on how the economies are working both in the UK and Europe and across the world. We're a global business. We sell our products in 195 countries. And generally, we're finding there's a pickup. Uh, we've had strong markets in Asia and Latin America for the last years. But uh, in the US, UK, and in some parts of Europe, things are generally starting to pick up, which is a good thing. We've been uh, selling abroad for a long time, decades. So uh, we started small and, and we've learned lots of things along the way. We've done some good things and, and we've learned from things that we got wrong. Um, it's about the last 20 years that we've really started to drive our global business. And we've shifted from being 80% in the UK with our sales to last year being under 20% in the UK. Over the last few years, there's been a number of challenges. Um, obviously, with the, uh, the financial crisis in 2008, there are a lot of companies around the world that were struggling either themselves financially or to raise finance from the banking system. And we depend on our partners around the world, either through our supply chain or in terms of the companies that we sell through. And their financial viability is a very important thing for us. So that's been one of the biggest challenges over the last few years. Yes, we have a very clear view that it's a family business and will stay a family business. So uh, I'm third generation, we have a fourth generation coming through. And in all the things that we think about, we think about how our business will look for future generations. We also think about the contribution that we play in the community wherever we operate, because that's about, again, thinking very long term. We are a multinational because we operate in lots of different territories. We're not a publicly listed company, so we don't offer share options. So when we are recruiting, we've got to make sure we're competitive. But if it's generally, if it's only about the money, then people are probably better off going somewhere else because we want people that are really passionate about what we do. And being in the business we're in, which is sports, outdoor and fashion, we don't find it that hard to attract really great people who are passionate about those industries. We're doing what we can. Uh, we're only a relatively small player in a very big market, obviously. Uh, we have a number of things that we do. We offer work experience. We offer internships. We partner with different universities. We work with different entities on our innovation and R&D centers throughout the UK. So we are working to try and help encourage students to stay in school, go to get further education, and then come to work for companies like us where they can use science, maths, uh, increasingly working around the world languages, whatever skills they, they need to help us build our global business. That's the easiest question of all to answer because the answer is absolutely not. Very happy not being publicly listed and have no desire to be.